Hey, I'm Steve Delatore, and today we're going to talk about gluten. So a common question I get, um, especially more now than before, is what's up with gluten? So now gluten is a protein found mostly in wheat, uh, rye, and also in barley. It's also in a few other grains, uh, I think spelt and a few other related grains, but mostly wheat foods are going to be your biggest source of uh, barley and rye. Um, you're going to find these you know, obviously in breads, pastas, cereals, crackers, um, also in fake meats, so like in veggie burgers, um, most soy products that um, taste like meats, you're gonna find them in soy sauce, um, at least the ones that we get here. There are some soy sauces that don't have gluten, but for the most part, soy sauce, you should consider it a gluten food. Uh, beer, because it's made with wheat, uh, barley, and other types of grains, um, and also it's hidden sometimes in ice cream, ketchup, and a few other foods. Um, if you want to know if your food has gluten in it, you want to make sure that you look at the ingredients. Um, it'll either have a wheat product, if it says wheat, that does have gluten, or if it says gluten, um, obviously it contains gluten. So, the foods that you want to avoid if you're looking to avoid gluten are going to be anything with wheat, anything with barley, and anything with rye. Okay, now, you might be asking, well, why would you want to avoid gluten? Here's the reason why. Um, there's two types of, at least right now, that we're hearing of um, gluten types of, uh, I guess, diseases, and that is there's celiac disease, and then there's just your typical gluten sensitivity. Now, with celiac disease, what happens is when you eat anything with gluten in it, uh, any kind of wheat foods, your small intestines here, and you'll have to forgive my art, um, it has these teeny little hairs, uh, like little um, uh, nutrient grabbing particles, all through your small intestines. So whenever you eat gluten, if you have celiac disease, um, the inflammation caused from the food starts to kill off those little cells um, throughout your small intestines that grab onto your nutrients. Now most of your nutrients are going to be absorbed in your small intestines. So if you have anything that's starting to kill off those nutrient grabbing particles in your small intestines, that means you're gonna be absorbing less nutrients. Over time, you don't absorb that many nutrients, you become malnutrient, eventually it leads to death. So um, if you find out that you have a gluten tolerance at a young age, it's very important that you don't eat these foods whatsoever because over the long term, it can cause real permanent damage. Now, only about 1% of the population right now um, are being found to have celiac disease. But most of us have a gluten intoler I'm sorry, a gluten sensitivity um, to some degree. So it can be something as little as you eat gluten foods and you feel bloated, or um, it affects your skin or hair or something else. Or it can be much worse, where it causes autoimmune diseases, um, causes inflammation, uh, multiple sclerosis. So it's really bad stuff. And the reason why gluten isn't great for us, even though it's almost in everything and it's in most um, breads, pastas, cereals, crackers, is because our bodies have not been adapted to process that protein. Uh, maybe in another few thousand years it'll be better, but right now our bodies just don't handle it very well, so that's why there's all this attention being brought onto gluten. Um, the media and the news, you start seeing where there's uh, gluten intolerant here, gluten intolerance there, celiacs, uh, there's gluten-free foods in the supermarket, it has its own aisle now. So that's because more and more people are starting to find out that this food group doesn't work well for us. All right, so now there are a lot of uh, gluten-free grains and those are gonna be your buckwheats, even though it says wheat, buckwheat actually is gluten-free. Uh, quinoa is an excellent source if you do choose to eat grains. Uh, rice, corn, and then of course potatoes and yams, and those aren't grains, but those are carbohydrate sources that do not contain gluten. So. If you choose to eat uh, carbohydrates, I would say you want to eat these uh, five right here. Buckwheat, quinoa, rice, corn, uh, and uh, potatoes. So, of course, I recommend that you try to stay away from as many processed carbohydrates as possible. Get most of your carbs from vegetables and fruits, but at least now you're going to know what are going to be your better sources to stick to. All right, so now that you know about gluten, and when you hear about it, um, I would say you should try to make a, an attempt to try to remove some of those gluten foods. Even if you've never been diagnosed with having a gluten insensitivity or 
intolerance, chances are it's not doing that great for you. So start slowly, uh, pick a few foods where you eat a lot of gluten and replace some of that with fruits and vegetables. Over time it gets easier and as you feel better, you'll be more motivated to eventually completely remove gluten from your life. All right, until next time, have a great day and I'll see you soon.